Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation Podcast Festival Edition. I am your host, Jake Gill. Today we are with Amy Regal. She's from the Lovegrass Music Festival. Amy, thanks for joining us. Sir, sure. happy to be here this morning. Amy, give us a little background on you. Where did you grow up? Talk a little bit about your career, and then we'll talk about your position with Lovegrass. Sure. So I grew up in Great Bend, around Great Bend, Kansas, Pawnee Rock. Um, so I grew up on a farm and then uh Moved away to go to college, lived in Lawrence for about 12 years, and then my husband and I relocated. I'm currently in Hayes. Um, we've been here almost 10 years this year, um, and I practice as a physical therapist, and I own my own um, uh, practice here in Hayes, cash-based physical therapy, but I also have a passion for bluegrass music, which brings me to um, kind of the uh, organization that I, I run. Okay. All right. Tell us a little bit about your organization. So uh, Lovegrass Music Festival began in 2017 um, as an idea. Uh, my family and I love to go to Wilson Lake, um, and we are very passionate about music and playing music. My husband and I have a band, um, and we just kind of had this cool idea floating in a cove um, below some beautiful rocks and cliffs um, that we should man, we should really have some bluegrass music like up on a cliff while we're floating. Wouldn't that be really cool? So uh, we actually, the next year, booked, uh, that was in 2016, so in 2017 we actually booked a group camp nearby called Lovegrass Group Camp, and we had some friends, we were just going to get together and jam and have fun like we always do, we go to Winfield, um, I saw you interviewed Bart Redford uh, the other day, watched that one, so we've been going there for decades, um, so anyway, we want to just kind of bring that kind of um, enjoyment to this part of the state, since there's really nothing up here like that, so we actually had um, made it a pri a private event and then I said you know what let's just invite whoever wants to come to this thing and I actually had bands reaching out wanting to play um and so we actually hired one band um to play that year in 2017 and had maybe like 150 people show up and it was such fun um and people said you've got to do this every year so the next year we actually thought let's try to raise some money and get a couple other bands and so we actually went pretty big we had 11 bands our second year um in 2018 um, and we were able to, um, after that point, grow so much that we thought, you know, we want to keep this free, um, but we want to make sure that everyone, can, whoever wants to be able to come to something like this can come, irregardless of cost. And so we actually went nonprofit um, after that year. Um, and so we've been a nonprofit since 2019, and that's allowed us to increase our budget um, by uh, getting grant funding with um, Dane G. Hansen Foundation, who is based in Northwestern Kansas. Um, Russell Area Community Foundation. We are, our festival is in Russell County at Wilson State Park. Um, and so we get some funding from them. Um, we apply for grant funding through the Kansas Commission for Arts and Industries, um, through the Kansas Department of Commerce. We've applied for grants through the Midwest American um, Arts Alliance. And there's a lot of other funders that help to support us. So we went from a budget for our first year of $400 this year, our budget is about $45,000. Very good. All right. So give us some ideas. People go on to campus. Where is this going to be located this year? Right. So our festival has uh, been located at the Lovegrass Group Camp, thus the name, which was really perfect for us, um, at the Wilson State Park. Um, those of you that are familiar with Wilson State Park, it's very close to the marina. Um, it is in the Hell Creek area of the state park, and we've been able to host that event at the state park for the last um, five years, and this will be um, the sixth year here at the Wilson State Park. Um, the beauty about the state park just kind of gives it a really great vibe. Um, it's just, it's, it's completely different from any other festival you might be um, attending, and the fact that we, uh, the, the water at Wilson State Park is just so amazing and clear, clear and clean. Um, and we actually try to do something, um, considering our, our festival is in the middle of August, which is usually hot. Last year it was 105. We have a band on a boat. Um, we're actually going to do it maybe twice this year. Um, so during the heat of the day, we literally have a band on a pontoon boat. Um, and every year it just gets a little bit bigger and better. Um, some of <laughs> our friends, Old Fangled from Lawrence, they're going to be playing. Um, and they're actually bringing their own boat this year. So BOIB, bring your own boat. And they're, they've got it all rigged up. They're going to have some better sound. Um, they've got a deck on top, so they're going to really make it so everyone can hear, even if they aren't in the water. Um, but yeah, it's just a wonderful place. And if you've ever been to, never been to Western Kansas or um, haven't seen the sunsets um, over the lake, it's it's just, it's incredible. It is just beautiful. So the vibe is That's really perfect. Cool. That's perfect. 
So let's talk a little bit, Amy, just about the importance of festivals and community and getting people together. It's a lot of work to put on something like that. What's your motivation in doing this? You're right. Um, so for mm -hmm. me, it was mainly just trying to give an outlet to people that may not have had that otherwise. Um, like I said, there really isn't anything like what we do around here. Even a free festival um, of this caliber in the state of Kansas is pretty rare. Um, but we just being passionate about kind of bluegrass and kind of more of that jam grass, kind of progressive bluegrass scene. We really are trying to give uh, a place for up and coming artists to kind of um, hold their own and get known. And we've we've really seen some people come through our festival that have really launched them into some bigger things, which is super exciting. Um, so that's one passion we have. We also have a passion for just providing um, kind of uh, enhancing just the quality of life for this area. Um, the lake itself is beautiful and provides a lot of recreation. But as far as just this arts, music, culture, collaboration, it was just something that we really felt um, that we wanted to be able to provide for the community locally. But that doesn't mean we're not providing it for outside. We actually have a lot of our attendees come from Wichita, Kansas City, Lawrence. We have people from all over the Midwest. So we've been collecting some data over the last few years for the demographics of the people that show up. And I mean, we've had people from all over the United States and a couple international folks uh, attending as well. So just to give that kind of sense of uh, community with individuals, um, it's just a really great family environment. Um, people will come and I was just reviewing our surveys from our festival last year just to give our board some insight as to some things we may want to adjust and change and you know there's just this common theme of just feeling just involved and feeling um family feeling like everyone's very welcoming our whole board is wonderful and even our volunteers everyone just comes together it's just this really great community sense ah that's perfect okay amy i'm in live music and live entertainment you are as well so Always ask these two questions. This will be great for you. What is the best concert you've ever been to your entire life? That's, uh, I saw you post that yesterday. On <clears throat> like, that, that's a hard one. Um, I'm going to say, so I, I have a little bit of a passion, maybe obsession, let's say passion, for uh, Billy Strings. He is absolutely wonderful, and uh, we, we're actually going to go see him next week. Um, but I, I would say one of his performances, um, I would say last, in, in Wichita, actually, when he came to Wichita, Kansas, shortly after he had been at Walnut Valley Festival that year, um, it was just an incredible, incredible show, and the, just the feeling was wonderful. So any of his shows are probably in my top, uh, but I would say any, as, I don't even care who's playing, but the venue of Red Rocks, there, that's probably just, I mean, that's pretty good. That's, that's yeah. Happening. Like, no, you can't sure. get better than that. I don't care who's on stage. It's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing event. Dead or alive, you could bring one act to the Lovegrass Music Festival. Money's not an issue. <laughs> Who you bring in? Well, we would, everyone always would love to have Billy Strings, but obviously that's not possible. We didn't. We can't accommodate that kind of crowd. Um, gosh, that's a really good question. I would personally would love to have the infamous String Dusters um, at our festival. They're a band I've followed for many years. They're just wonderful stringed um, musicians, and they are, are wonderful people as well. So let's go. That's ahead. perfect. That's perfect. Amy, how do people find out more about the Lovegrass Music Festival? Yeah, so we have a wonderful website. It's just been redesigned, and we just released our lineup for 20... I know you can't see this, but this is on our oh, website. Yeah, they can. For 2023, we just released our lineup, and this year's theme is going to be kind of a Kansas theme, so we kind of went with this postcard theme. So we actually have um, Arkansas returning this year. They actually are going to be playing in Wilson, Kansas this weekend at the Midland Hotel, who was one of our partners. And I should mention that as part of our kind of collaborative effort to bring more bluegrass music to this area, we've partnered with the Midland Railroad Hotel, who's doing monthly events over there, um, kind of co-branding with them. I'm giving them some ideas of artists we would like to see. Um, we're also getting ready to partner with Great Bend Alive, um, which is a organization that's trying to help with revitalization of their downtown. They do some events on Friday, so we're looking at doing some things there. Um, and we have some other partnerships. We're going to be partnering with the Lake Area Marina um, and maybe doing a Rock the Dock. They have music on the dock in the summertime, so we're going to be doing some things like that. But um, Arkansas is one of our headliners this year, returning Fireside Collective. They're out of North Carolina, amazing nationally touring artists. Front Porch is a new band we just uh, discovered. They're out of Arkansas also. John DePew, he's from Arlington, Kansas, local um, singer-songwriter, wonderful multi-instrumentalist, Whiskey Mash band out of Missouri, and then Weeda Skirt, um, Alexa Dawson leads that band. She's based out of Emporia. But you can check all of that out on our website, lovegrassmusicfestival.com. Tons of information. We don't have registration up yet. It is a free festival, um, so we obviously have to raise a lot of funds for this. 
Um, once we put our registration link, we're actually working on it tonight. Um, once we get that up and running, we ask people to register um, to come just so we have an idea. We do kind of cut it off at about 1,500 individuals per state parks get guidelines. Um, and then at that point, they can make a donation when they register for their ticket, whatever they feel it's worth. Um, and a lot of people said it's invaluable to them. They would pay a lot of money to come to something like this. But then that allows someone who may not have those means to come for free um, as well. So, yeah, you can cool. check it out on our website and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Love Grass Music Festival. we got lots of content over there. And then we also send out regular email blasts to our um, Very good. Schools also. So, yeah, we're looking for sponsors right now to help raise $45,000 so we can make this year um, go without a hitch. Gotcha. Very cool. Amy from Lovegrass Music Festival. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Jake. You bet. Well, baby, I'm on with a follow -up.